Pakistani English or Paklish is the group of English language varieties spoken and written in Pakistan. It was first so recognized and designated in the 1970s and 1980s. Pakistani English is slightly different in respect to vocabulary, syntax, accent, spellings of some words and other features. History Although British rule in India lasted for almost 200 years, the areas which lie in what is now Pakistan were amongst the last to be annexed. Sindh in 1843, Punjab, which initially included the northwest frontier province in 1849, and parts of Baluchistan, including Quetta and the outer regions in 1879, while the rest of the Baluchistan region became a princely state within the British Indian Empire. As a result, English had less time to become part of local culture though it did become part of elite culture as it was used in elite schools and in higher education, as in the rest of British India. The colonial policies which made English a marker of elite status and the language of power—being used in such domains of power as the civil service, the officer corps of the armed forces, the higher judiciary, universities, prestigious newspapers, radio and entertainment, was due to British policies and the continuation of these policies by Pakistani governments. In 1947 upon Pakistan's establishment, English became the de facto official language, a position which was formalized in the Constitution of Pakistan of 1973. Together with Urdu, the two languages are concurrently the official languages of the country. English language continues as the language of power and is also the language with the maximum cultural capital of any language used in Pakistan. It remains much in demand in higher education in Pakistan. Topic: <laughs> Relationship with Indian English. Topic: Pakistani English PE shares many similarities with Indian English, but since the independence of Pakistan, there have been some very obvious differences. Rahman argues that PE is an interference variety of English created by the use of the features of Urdu, Punjabi, Pashto, Sindhi and other languages spoken in Pakistan. He further divides PE into anglicized English, which is very similar to the speech and writing of the speakers of British Standard English BSE, Acrolect PE, which is used by Pakistanis educated in English medium schools, Mesolectal PE, which is used by ordinary, Urdu educated Pakistanis and Baselect PE, which is used by people of little formal education, such as guides and waiters. Words and expressions of PE have been noted by a number of scholars, including unique idioms and colloquial expressions as well as accents. Sense. Foreign companies find accent neutralization easier in Pakistan than in India. However, like Indian English, Pakistani English has preserved many phrases that are now considered antiquated in Britain. Topic. Use in Pakistan Topic. Urdu and English are Pakistan's official languages. All government documents, many street signs, many shop signs, business contracts and other activities use English. The language of the courts is also English. English is taught to all school-level Pakistani students, and in many cases the medium of instruction is also in English. Although there are also many schools that teach in the local languages, there is a huge emphasis on English as a second language especially in standardized testing. At college and university level, all instructions are typically in English. Pakistan boasts a large English language press and more recently media. All of Pakistan's major dailies are published in or have an edition in English. While Don News was a major English language news channel before the 15th of May 2010 when it switched to its language to Urdu, Express 24/7 was another important English news channel, now defunct. Code switching the concurrent use of more than one language, or language variety, in conversation is common in Pakistan and almost all conversations in whatever language have a significant English component. The language of pleading in all courts of Pakistan is also English. Literature <inaudible> 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 Topic. The role of English within the complex multilingual society of Pakistan is far from straightforward. It is used across the country by speakers with various degrees of proficiency. The grammar and phraseology may mimic that of the speaker's first language. 
While Pakistani speakers of English use idioms peculiar to their homeland often literal translations of words and phrases from their native languages, this is far less common in proficient speakers, and grammar tends to be quite close to that of standard English but exhibiting some features of American English. Phonology <laughs> <laughs> Pakistani English phonology follows that of British English. It may be rhotic or non-rhotic. Rahman provides a broad introduction to the phonology of Pakistani English. Influences Pakistani English is heavily influenced by Pakistan's languages as well as the English of other nations. Many words or terms from Urdu, such as Kummerbund, have entered the global language and are also found in Pakistan. In addition the area which is now Pakistan was home to the largest garrisons of the British Indian Army such as Rawalpindi and Peshawar and this, combined with the post-partition influence of the Pakistan military, has ensured that many military terms have entered the local jargon, the type of English taught and preferred is British English. The heavy influence and penetration of American culture through television, films and other media has brought in great influences of American English. <inaudible> Vocabulary and colloquialisms Pakistani English contains many unique terms, as well as terms which are utilized somewhat differently in Pakistan. For instance, chips is used for potato chips as well as for French fries and lemon is used for both lime and lemon. Uncle, auntie, respectful way of addressing anyone who is significantly older than oneself. Uncle, please give way. Use of double and triple for numbers occurring twice or three times in succession, especially for a phone number, for example, a phone number 2233344 would be pronounced as double two, triple three, double four, however the phone number 2222555 would be pronounced as double two, double two, triple five. Shopper means a shopping bag, rather than a person who is shopping, the latter is referred to as a customer. Petrol pump. This term used to refer to a gas station. Opening, closing an object refers to turning something on or off. This is due to the verbs for to open and to close being the same as the verbs for to turn on and to turn off in Urdu and other Pakistani languages. Light gone. This refers to the electric power outage from the electric supply company. Number. Often used in place of marks. In an exam, used as both singular and plural without s while speaking in mixed English Urdu. His, her meter has turned or is high means that the person has lost his, her temper. Usually used for a sudden outburst, one which is construed as unreasonable. Got no lift. Received no attention or assistance from someone. In charge. A casual as well as formal title given to unit, group or division heads. Same to same. An expression to indicate something is exactly the same to some other thing. On parade. Being at work or at a set activity. Usually, though not always, in the context of starting something for the first time. For example, I have been hired by the company, on parade from next Monday. Out of station. Out of town. Become a direct sergeant. Be promoted out of turn, given responsibility and authority very early. Often in the context that a person is out of his, her depth. For example, no wonder that team has failed so badly, leader was a direct sergeant. Usually, sergeant is replaced by Havildar, the equivalent rank in the Pakistan army. Also used for upwardly mobile, ambitious or nouveau riche. Miss is used to address or refer to female teachers, whatever their marital status, e.g. Yes, I have done my homework, miss. Less commonly used to refer to women colleagues or subordinates. Madam is used to address and refer to females in positions of authority, usually a superior, e.g. Madam has ordered me to get the figures for last year's sales, can also be used as a noun, e.g. She is the madam of that department meaning she is the head of the department, without it being derogatory. Sir is used for a male superior, often combined with their name or used as a noun. E.g. as Sir In, or Sir Raza wants to see you in his office as soon as possible. Well left. 
avoided artfully, often a tricky situation. From cricket, the term, well left, is applied when a batsman chose not to play a potentially dangerous delivery, e.g., I well left that offer, it could have caused many problems. Through, received a googly, an unexpected situation arose, a person was surprised, often unpleasantly, e.g. had just settled down and then got the googly about the transfer. From googly, a delivery in cricket. Yorker. A sudden, dangerous and potentially devastating situation, similar use to googly, but usually has a certain amount of danger attached to it. My mother's heart attack while we were hiking in the mountains hit like a yorker, we were far from any medical help. Also used in a similar manner, bouncer. All three terms are derived from actual cricket deliveries, cricket being a popular sport in the country. Hit middle stump. Did an action in such a manner that there is little room for further action, or a decisive blow, e.g. Really hit middle stump last year on that contract. Also derived from cricket. Master Sahib, contracted to Ms. Sahib. Used to refer to a master craftsman. The term is now however used more frequently to refer to tailors and carpenters. Drinking a cigarette, cigar. Smoking a cigarette. This is due to the verbs for smoking being the same as the verbs for drinking in Urdu and other Pakistani languages. Elder, used as a comparative adjective in the sense of older. For example, I am elder to you, instead of I am older than you, even, as well, also, too, even I didn't know how to do it. This usage of even is borrowed from native grammatical structure. Graduation, completion of a bachelor's degree as in the UK, I did my graduation at Presidency College I earned my bachelor's degree at Presidency College, whereas in the United States it refers to completion of high school, master's or PhD as well. Painting, hurting would be correct in standard American and British, my head is painting, shirtings and suitings, the process of making such garments, a suffix in names of shops specializing in men's formal, business wear. Timings, hours of operation, scheduled time, such as office timings or train timings, as opposed to the standard usage such as the timing of his ball delivery is very good, gentry, generalized term for social class, not specifically high social class. The use of good, bad, high, and low prefix to gentry is common, mutton, goat meat instead of sheep meat, words unique to i.e. not generally well known outside South Asia and or popular in Pakistan include those in the following by no means exhaustive list, batchmate or batchmate not classmate, but a schoolmate of the same grade compass box for a box holding mathematical instruments like compasses, divider, scale, protractor etc., also widely referred to as a geometry box cousin brother male first cousin and cousin sister female first cousin overhead bridge bridge meant for pedestrians flyover overpass or an over bridge over a section of road or train tracks go down warehouse godman somewhat pejorative word for a person who claims to be divine or who claims to have supernatural powers gully to mean a narrow lane or alley from the hindi word gali meaning the same long cut the opposite of shortcut in other words taking the longest route mugging cramming or mugging up memorizing usually referring to learning by rote as used in british english and having nothing to do with street crime, that the expression might also mean in British, American English. Nose screw woman's nose ring prepone the opposite of postpone, that is to change a meeting to be earlier. Many dictionaries have added this word, tiffin box for lunch box. The word is also commonly used to mean a between meal snack. BHK is real estate terminology for bedroom, hall and kitchen, used almost exclusively in housing size categorization. Hall refers to the living room, which is highlighted separately from other rooms. For instance, a 2BHK apartment has a total of three rooms, two bedrooms and a living room. Co-brother indicates relationship between two men who are married to sisters, as in, he is my co-brother. Co-in-laws indicates relationship between two sets of parents whose son and daughter are married, as in, our co-in-laws live in Karachi. Co-sister indicates relationship between two women who are married to brothers, as in, she is my co-sister. Boss is a term used to refer to a male stranger such as shopkeeper. Boss, what is the cost of that pen? Vote bank is a term commonly used during the elections in Pakistan, implying a particular bloc or community of people inclined to cast their votes for a political party that promises to deliver policies favoring them. Pant, trousers. Mess, a dining hall, especially used by students at a dormitory. 
Mess is also used in reference to eateries catering primarily to a working class population. Originated from the military term of similar meaning. Eve teasing, verbal sexual harassment of women. Where are you put up, means where are you currently staying. Out of station. Out of town. This phrase has its origins in the posting of army officers to particular stations during the days of the East India Company. Acting pricey. Playing. Hard to get. Being snobbish. Pass out. Is meant to graduate, as in. I passed out of the university in 1995. In American, British English, this usage is limited to graduating out of military academies. Tight slap. To mean. Hard slap. Time pass, doing something for leisure but with no intention or target, satisfaction, procrastination, pastime. Time waste, something that is a waste of time, procrastination. Presumably not even useful for leisure. Pindrop silence, extreme silence, quiet enough to hear a pin drop. Charge sheet, n, formal charges filed in a court, v, to file charges against someone in court. Redressal, n, redress, remedy, reparation. Hill Station, Mountain Resort. Stepney, refers to a spare tire. The word is a genericized trademark originating from the Stepney spare motor wheel, itself named after Stepney Street, in Linelli, Wales. Cooling glasses, sunglasses. Cent per cent, cent per cent, 100 per cent, 100 per cent. As in, he got cent per cent in math, maths. Loose motion. Diarrhea. Expire. To die, especially in reference to one's family member. Bunking. To skip class without permission. Carrying. To be pregnant, as in. She is carrying. Pressurize. To put pressure on someone, to influence. Club or clubbing to merge or put two things together. Just club it together. Cantonment. Permanent military installation. Taking an exam, test. As opposed to, taking, writing an exam. A phrase more commonly used in the U.S. and Canada. Giving a test. Is used to refer to a person who is going to conduct the test. Copy. Is used for notebook. Lady finger. Is used for okra, words which are considered archaic in some varieties of English, but are still in use in Pakistani English. Curd, yogurt. Dicky, dicky, digi, the trunk of a car. Intention, being concerned or nervous. Phrased another way. He is taking too much tension. Found in 18th century British English. Into, multiplied by, as in 2 into 2 equals 4, rather than 2 times 2 is 4, which is more common in other varieties of English. The use of into dates back to the 15th century, when it had been common in British English. Ragging, hazing, U.S. Use of thrice, meaning, three times, is common in Pakistani English. Use of the phrases like nothing or like anything to express intensity. For example, these people will cheat you like anything. Such usage was part of colloquial English language in 17th century Britain and America. Word pairs, up to, and, in spite, compounded to, up to, and, in spite, respectively. Over, to speak frankly. Don't be too over with me. Weeping, crying. Topic. Numbering system. Topic. The Pakistani numbering system is preferred for digit grouping. When written in words, or when spoken, numbers less than 100,000 are expressed just as they are in standard English. Numbers including and beyond 100,000 are expressed in a subset of the Pakistani numbering system. Thus, the following scale is used. Larger numbers are generally expressed as multiples of the above. Topic medical terms Topic Often the cause of undesirable confusion. Viral fever, influenza sugar, diabetes jaundice, acute hepatitis. While standard medical terminology uses jaundice for a symptom yellow discoloration of skin, in Pakistan the term is used to refer to the illness in which this symptom is most common. Allopathy, used by homeopaths to refer to conventional medicine. 
Topic food topic Brinjal, aubergines, eggplant capsicum, called chilli pepper, red or green pepper, or sweet pepper in the UK, capsicum in Australia, New Zealand, Pakistan, Sri Lanka and India, bell pepper in the US, Canada, and the Bahamas, and paprika in some other countries. Curds, yogurt suji, semolina pulses, dal, pulses, e.g. lentils karahi, kadeh, wok sago, tapioca, yuca in U.S. ladyfinger, bindi, okra sabzi, greens, green vegetables topic See also topic Indian English Sri Lankan English topic References topic topic Further reading topic Hashmi, A. 1989. Prolegomena to the study of Pakistani English and Pakistani literature in English. Pakistani Literature Islamabad 2 to 1993 Crystal David the 3rd of August 2003 1995 The Cambridge Encyclopedia of the English Language 2nd ed Cambridge UK Cambridge University Press ISBN 0 521 53033 4 Retrieved the 20th of July 2006 Rahman T 1991 The Use of Words in Pakistani English English Today, 7 02, 32. doi, 10.1017, s0266078400005514. Nelson, Cecil L. 2006. World Englishes in Asian Contexts. Hong Kong University Press. ISBN 962-209-756-1. Maboub, A. 2009. English as an Islamic Language, a Case Study of Pakistani English. World Englishes, 28 175-189. Link to Abstract Maboob, A. 2008. Pakistani English, Morphology and Syntax. In R. Mestri, B. Cortman, and E. Schneider, eds., A Handbook of Varieties of English, Africa, South and Southeast Asia, Volume 4. Berlin, Mouton de Greider, Permanent Dead Link Link to Abstract Maboub, A. and Amar, N. 2008. Pakistani English, Phonology. In R. Mestri, B. Cortman, and E. Schneider, eds., A Handbook of Varieties of English, Africa, South and Southeast Asia, Volume 4. Berlin, Mouton de Greider, Permanent Dead Link Link to Abstract Hartford, B. and Maboub, A. 2004. Models of Discourse in the Letter of Complaint. World Englishes, 23, 585-600. Link to abstract topic External links topic The Urdu-English Relationship and its Impact on Pakistan's Social Development Claims The current portion of the population that is functional in verbal and written English is less than 2%. Quote,